What's a fact about you that sounds completely unbelievable? My father was a communist who tried starting a communist revolution multiple times throughout his 20s and 30s. While my mother was an anti-communist refugee from the then Soviet Union. I have seen my own intestine. Since somebody asked. Semi truck blew a red light as I was pulling out of the hospital I worked at. The ED crew ran out. Shoveled me off the asphalt. And ran me inside. If it had been anywhere else I'd have bled out before an ambulance arrived. It broke my left everything. Including 10 ribs. Many of which wound up in my lung. One of which is still unaccounted for. I was fortunate enough not to suffer any spinal damage. But I did lose my left leg below the knee. I've made a mostly full recovery. Less the dot leg and significant lung functionality. If you think about how a grape splits open when you squeeze it too hard you'll have the right idea. A Victoria's Secret model married me. I wrote a song that was played on the radio for years. I won a college bowl game. All of the above is true. But not nearly as impressive as it sounds. She was a catalog model. Not the runway type. We were young. She was pretty amazing. I was 12 and got a keyboard for Christmas. I called the Friday night request DJ in my podink town and told him I wrote him a song. He recorded it and opened his show with it for years because it was so campy. It was a community college bowl game. Two teenagers were locked out of their car and I had nothing in my car to use. So I got it open using a tree branch to hit the unlock button on the key ring on the ground of the passenger's side floorboard. They called me MacGyver. Best compliment of my life. I've died twice. Second time was dead nearly 20 minutes and suffered minimal brain damage. I was born with a birth defect and had one pointy ear. So technically I'm a half-elf. A horse fell on top of me and I broke zero bones. And then rode that horse home. I have somehow survived so many respiratory illnesses, including a collapsed lung and that I should 100% be dead. Somehow. My keeps living. Edit. Due to overwhelming concern. I would like to elevate all worries by stating that my entire body is alive. Not just my. Chevy Chase was drunk driving up my street. Crashed into my house. And completely ran over and destroyed my mailbox. After a conversation with his wife who was extremely nice and apologetic. I walked up the street to meet Chevy personally. And he gave me a $750 check to pay for a new mailbox that in reality cost about $14 to replace. I have no sense of orientation. At all. Every single time I cross the street or follow a road in any direction. I take a turn. I get lost. Every street is completely new to me every time. Even though I lived in the same city for 36 years. I get lost at least two or three times a day. My mother had the same. She always had to use a compass and a map and ask directions every turn. I have Google Maps haha luckily for me. I often have to up to six times in a day. I don't know WTF is wrong with me. Edit. You guys are kind of scaring me haha. I'll ask my doctor about the various conditions that you guys have mentioned. Edit. For those asking I eat two eggs a day. A banana. A cup of pineapple. An apple. Two tangerines. A vine of grapes. Two kiwis. Eight strawberries. And for dinner and lunch I'll usually have some combination of rice and a meat either chicken or beef with some broccoli on the side. I drink about eight bottles of water a day and a glass of OJ. About twice a week my dinner will be fast food. I have an inverted heart. My blood pumps the opposite way in my body than everyone else. You guys are pumping east. I'm pumping west. I used to be a model. A lot of people find it hard to believe since I'm not exactly eye candy. But as a child my parents owned a clothing brand for children and so my sister and I modeled for it. I've been shot twice by the same guy. 10 years apart. Been robbed at gunpoint by police in Mexico. Stabbed. Tear gassed. And I once partied with Anthony Kiedis. I have never been inside a McDonald's. Burger King or a Wendy's in my life and I am 24 and I live in the USA. I was my dad's 30th birthday gift. Born the same day. Exactly 30 years apart. Throughout my life. I have been the youngest child. The middle child. The oldest child and an only child. Out of my siblings. Not me but my dad got hit by a truck. Then a car. All on his way to school. He still went. 
Face with tears of joy when he told his gym teacher he couldn't run because he got hit by a truck and a car the gym teacher gave him. I recently so violently. That it was a full seat rumbler that no lie lasted for like 10 to 15 seconds straight with no cutouts whatsoever. It was so intense that I was legit lightheaded after and had to regain my composure. I have been shot through the face and spine from 10 inches away with a 9mm and have no lasting issues from it. Only an entrance and exit wound on my cheek and neck. The keel of my own fan surfboard stabbed my thigh after a big wave. If it had hit any other part I'd probably have serious problems or death if it had hit my torso or head. 13 years old. 13 stitches. I am named after my mom's favorite cat. And my dad wanted to name me Godzilla. One of my toenails grows diagonally. I have no idea why. How. Or when it started. When I was 10 on a holiday in Cuba we went on a five-person catamaran excursion to do some snorkeling. Well lo and behold Hurricane Katrina was in the neighborhood and nobody told us to worry since it wasn't coming too close. Turns out the tail end of the storm whipped up enough of a storm over us to make me glad I wasn't directly in its path. The day seemed calm at first. It rained a bit but it did every day. The sky was overcast but not menacing. I remember vividly after an hour at sea and returning to the resort the sky changing from grey overcast to black. That was our first clue something was wrong. As we got maybe half a mile from shore our Cuban skipper, guide looked a bit off color. And his English, sketchy at the best of times, suddenly became very accented and hard to understand as he pointed off back where we came from with panic in his eyes. Wind, he said. The wind is coming. We looked around. And there was a tornado. Not nearby. A mile or two off maybe. But close enough to see it sucking up the Caribbean Sea and causing us all to collectively soil ourselves. Without warning. And as if Hollywood was directing the situation. The wind came. From barely a breeze to howling powerful sail locomoting swiftness. The catamaran accelerated and suddenly went from Sunday drive to an attempt at a sailing sea speed record. The sea got choppy. Which was a nightmare when we got closer to shore since the sea is only a few feet deep even hundreds of yards out. I vividly remember there being a small hole in the canvas between the hulls of the boat. And as we hit waves water pressure would shoot a jet of water many feet in the air. We kept bottoming out as we rolled over the waves. About 20 yards from shore we plowed into a big chunk of coral and all that inertia carried me through the airhead first from the back of the boat into the mast. I don't think I blacked out. But my memory is fuzzy and the next thing I remember was being over my dad's shoulder with a big headache on shore. The boat was being pulled on shore by many frightened resort staff. The palm trees were straining and bending. And we all rushed inside the hotel. I'm not sure how no one got more injured. And we all got away unscathed. Except for me I had a gnarly black eye but otherwise fine. So yeah. 10 out of 10 would sail through a storm again. I have connections to famous people despite coming from a poor background. I'm related to a world famous author. Had family connections, not blood, to a rock star. Had family working on movie sets. Etc. If I ever bring it up it kinda sounds unbelievable. Neither my mother nor my father have wisdom teeth. And no one on either side of the family has had wisdom teeth as far back as we know. My sisters also don't have any wisdom teeth. Somehow. I ended up with eight. I have long kidneys. Found out in an scan trying to find out something else. I've battled drug addiction. Gambling addiction. Extreme debt, income ratios. Been married. Divorced, very shortly. Still getting finalized, have two beautiful girls. Five. And three months. I weighed 102 kilograms at my heaviest. Down to 69 kilograms in three months via not particularly healthy diet change. Owned 40 plus different cars. Been a retail store 2 IC. A bar manager. A small business owner. Currently working as a shot firer, mining explosives operator. Currently writing a course to train people to do said job. And a work of fiction hoping to be published. Probably missed a few bits and pieces. Only 27 years old. I lit a cigarette in the winds of Hurricane Katrina. Several cigarettes. Actually. I was at the hospital with my dad because he wasn't well enough to evacuate in. Well, you can't smoke inside of the hospital. Lol. I fell 13 meters in a stunt show. Stood up and finished the show without a broken bone. Edit.
It was the Wild West stunt show in Disney Paris. Floor was sand over concrete. 